What's up, everybody? I'm Joe Romo, and this is Po' Boy's Garage. Welcome to the episode of Po' Boy's Garage. Today, we're gonna do some stuff to Shipwreck's RX-7. Hopefully. Well, not Wait. the RX-7 itself, but the uh, bushings. There's a few little things. We need to pop these old bushings out. I got the new ones. So we're gonna grab the rear control arm and head on over to the, uh, the old garage. The machine shop. The machine shop, there you go. We're gonna head to the Po' Boy's machine shop. So let's get to it. Yeah, that's fine. Pop the trunk, be easier too. They're clean. <laughs> Feels good out here, man. Tell you luck, your parts will be delivered when we come back. That'd be nice. We'll continue on with your subframe. It's nice having trunk space. <laughs> Fit in our thing. They will. Oh yeah, that's true. Be a little bruh. <laughs> Made it to our next location. I get the stuff out right now and work our way. And we'll pop out those bushings. Let's see if the Duke is here. The Duke home. The Duke yeah, home. They're all there. They're all there. Being a bunch of buttheads. Those yeah. Oh, I gotta get them. Here they are. Hey. Crazy. That's uh, a big gold key. Oh, there's all these berries. Snozberries. Snozberries. Watch out for black widows in here. This is one beefy vice. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Should be easy, right? The concept's easy. <laughs> if we have the right tool to make Pop it easy. Pop them out, right? Well, I just need to find something that's the ring that's a little bigger, but the size of this ring, you know, the middle. Oh, yeah, to, to push it out? So, yeah, to hold it. Yeah. Okay, something like that might work. But it goes longer, be better. <laughs> too big. Just getting this rubber out of the way so we can actually put. So I can push it through? Yeah. Shit. It's gonna be tough no matter what because. I don't know. Yeah, see, as long as we have something on that metal ring to though, push it back, huh? Yeah, and that's all it needs. I can try doing all that. Try to clear all the rubber. Should be good. Yeah, let's just pull a pipe around it. Pop it out. Oh, baby. 
This is what we're dealing with right now. We got a little bit, pushed out a little bit. I thought it'd be sliding by like now. Like way easier, know? right? Yeah. But check out, push on it, look at what's going on. <laughs> you see that? Do it that again. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know if that's like kind of going against us right now or. It's not as. Yeah. But with this pole, we got a little bit of, a little bit of extra girth. Cause it just lifts the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm gonna put the camera down and see if we can knock this out and come back to you guys in a second. What do we got? Fire. <laughs> Fire day. See how well it burns. A little bit of fire will help out. Cause that was being a pain in the ass. That was some, that's a tough bushing, huh? Yeah, I didn't think it would be that hard. Yeah, no wonder people burn them off. The front end was not that bad. It came out easy? Yeah, I did it by myself. All right, they're on the same vise, right? Yeah. Same everything. So we heated it up pretty good, charred it up, and now we uh, decided to give it one more shot in the vise, and it looks like it's doing a lot better this time around. Give it a go. Yeah. Hard now. Hold the arm. Okay. All you can do is let it burn. We're not pyro maniacs, <laughs> we promise. <laughs> we don't like to burn everything, but when we do. This requires. <laughs> like it should just like fall all apart, right? Yeah, eventually it'll crumble. Well, we finished it. We finished both of them. Right now, shipwreck is just getting the last remains of the rubber off the second rear control arm, and then we'll be going uh, heading back to Paul Boys. Burning it off. On second thought, I think we uh, we deserve a Slurpee after this, man. This something actually this took a little longer than we refreshing, thought. Refreshing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, something refreshing and cool sounds good. So I think. Uh, 7-Eleven trip is in our future. Got our Slurpees! Woo! What flavor did you get? Mine was Nerds. Nerds? Like strawberry grape. Huh. Tastes like Nerds. I got cherry with that Nerds up top. With <laughs> Nerds up top. Pretty good, super oishi. Now let's go back to the garage. Yeah, we need a good break. Let's put that subframe in. Here we go, get in it. You gotta take these off. You didn't know they were in there. <laughs> I didn't know they were in there. So I read the instructions. <laughs> the outer sleeves. Now. Did you get the footage of us? We couldn't get that in before. No, I didn't record oh. that. Well, with these on, you can't get them. You take them off. Oop, look at that. That's oh so my god. Easier. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, earlier we were struggling trying to put it in, but after Shipwreck read the instructions, it made sense, it made sense, yeah, it made sense. So, whoo -hoo, got it. So you're doing a little lube. Yeah, lube up. Insertion. There you go. <laughs> there you go. This one. Oh, dang. This one might be a little tough. Get it. Push. Yeah, this one's just a sequin. I've worked hard enough today. <laughs> I 
It's like delivering birth backwards. <laughs> Go back in. Get back in there, kid. <laughs> Race car is more important. So fresh and so clean, clean. Last piece of the puzzle just delivered today, actually. It's uh, camber wings. To adjust the camber, because when you lower it, it goes negative a lot. But these ones are smaller than the stock. See? It's, yeah, they're a little shorter. Oh yeah. So that brings the camber. Well, that brings the the arm up. That's sick. I think it's beefy, man. Yeah, they're solid. <laughs> it's like brass knuckles. Dang. And those go That's right nice. here. Be the conjoining it. Oh, that's hard. Right here. Okay, you added this one. Went on no problem. They're too spec. Made for the FC. Yay! Wonderful. The axles? Brand spanking new. Dang. <laughs> what was that? Like a little... <laughs> <laughs> Weird web. <laughs> so that'll do it for right now, for tonight. As you can see, I get a losing light. I have no light. So now we're using the Pull Boys lights. We're working on cars by campfire. <laughs> yeah, there we go. But everything's put together. Yeah, that's good. So it's ready to go up and then tighten everything down tomorrow. Sounds good. So tomorrow, load it up. We'll see you guys then. And welcome back to the next day. We're working on Shipwrecks RX-7. <laughs> We're not sore at all. We're not tired. <laughs> it's like a Lego set. Well, yesterday, we got it all pretty much connected and we're just waiting on he just needed one more bolt to complete it then we'll be able to jack the subframe back into the RX-7 and we'll be good so right now we're just gonna just clean up all this junk everything that we have around here so we could use the, this jack and the old jack we are have a jack on each side and then we're gonna raise it up underneath raise the roof like Shiloh Booth <laughs> And look at these beautiful cars back here. Ooh wee. Attempting to throw in strip rig subframe. Take one. Let's <laughs> see what happens. That's how we do it. Yeah, the diff? Or let me just see if I can push it forward. No, mine's hitting the... So yours is still... Mine's lower. There, hey. You got that one? I'm in the hole now. You right there, right? It's in the hole. Yeah, we're good. Lift them both up. Lift. Okay, yep. This one's fully in. I can see it. It's breaching. I jacked up the front. Yeah, do the front one. Get the front holes. Are you lined up in the front? Yeah, they're, they're fully in. Mine's not lined up. Woo! Got it. Got it all up. Just got to tighten everything down. How you feeling? <laughs> that wasn't too bad. No, it wasn't. 
it pretty easy. It was easier to put it up than down, I think. Yeah, no, it was way easier. Got everything on. Sway bar. That's oh, whatever. I need the end links. End links for that. So we gotta this the we gotta jack it up to the, the coil over. Oh yeah, duh. That goes up anyways, huh? Everything's all on. We got the brackets underneath right here on both sides. The diff diff uh, bolts and everything. Bushing. Bushing all right here. And then the uh, subframe. That's it, huh? Just right there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so it's just that. Boom. Okay. Cool. I, mean, I know. It doesn't feel like a lot holding it up, but that's what it was. Yeah. Super secure now. Well, these, these hold it up too. Yeah. Woo! Right on, dude. Woohoo! Yeah, got it. Super productive. It's in. It's clean. It's done. And if you have RX7 and you're wondering how to do it and this was helpful, hit that like button. Yeah, we won't yell at you like the forms will. Nope. We're nice over here at Pull Boys Garage. We understand. <laughs> We're new. <laughs> We're new. We're learning. Hey, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we'll definitely catch you next time. Woohoo! Uh -oh. <laughs>